Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Trumbull. I'm a PhD in everything. You might know me from the last episode that you watched where I taught you how to open a jar. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get rid of all the evidence after you kill a person. This episode is very informative and if you're a minor, I don't recommend watching it. It's very grotesque, has a lot of nudity, maybe possible killing, and it's not good for those people with bad hearts. So if you're ready, let's get to work. Hey guys, all right, first thing you need in order to wipe away all the evidence after a murder is uh, you gotta kill a person first. So that's your first step. And by looking around, uh, oh hey, there's somebody right here standing. Oh look, just found him. Completely, complete stranger, right? See, he said he. Okay, so we're gonna kill this man, then we're gonna hide the evidence. You ready? Here we go. First up is your weapon of choice. I have a couple that I like. First up is the ping pong paddle. It's easy, and after you hit them, you can play ping pong with their eyeballs. Number two, oh, this is an old favorite of mine. It's uh, the stick that looks like a gun. You uh, don't shoot anyone with it, you just, uh, their cranium until, you know, they stop speaking. Uh, number three is the old fashioned brick. I don't like to use this one because uh, it kind of hurts me too when I, when I use it. Oh, old classic and favorite of mine is the barbecue grill. This one is so fun to kill people with. You'd be surprised at the reactions I get on the street. Um, and finally, uh, we have, this one is really crazy. Um, I don't recommend trying this one because it might cost you a lot more money than you want to kill someone with. Well, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, the old television set. Ah, I can't pick that up. So, yeah, it's right there. Uh, all right. So, I'm just going to choose one of these uh, by random. And that's going to be this one. And I'm going to kill someone. The kid that was here before with it. All right. Uh, can you come over here, please? All right, here we go. All right. Uh, so, now I'm going to show you how to kill the person. I'm going to use my friend here. I totally did not say the word kill. Uh, come here, uh, old friend that I just met. There you go. All right. Got an old pal here that I just met. Um, what's your name, sir? Felipe. Felipe. Felipe from Filipinos, right? No. Oh, what's your uh, last name? Santos. Santos from Santo Dominica. No, Republica. Actually, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to kill my friend. I did not say that. Uh, remember what we're here to do? No. You don't? Okay, good. Because it's totally not to kill you. Uh, so just walk on that way and get lost. Just try to get lost. Be with you in a sec. Hello guys, uh, I'm back, <clears throat> and as you can see, um, I have here my uh, partner in crime over here that I uh, just killed like about five minutes ago. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get rid of the evidence, and it's simple. It's a simple process, which I will show you. You just pull and spring, and then you just pour all over. Put it all over the cadaver. There you go. Nice and easy drips. And then followed by one quick, ooh, like that. Just like so. And the 
the policia will be sure to not follow you. All right, first up in killing someone is your weapon of choice. I have a couple that I like, and uh, the ping pong, ping pong. Am I in the shot? All right, so. Second, I'm getting oh. harder to pull. Oh, was my back? Ooh, oh. it's red. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Yeah, you have to take a shower, man. Yeah. It's dirty as hell. <laughs> it's dirty and red. Oh, thanks for really killing me. <laughs> All right, so now, uh... oh, wait, stop. Does it hurt or it burned while you were doing it, but now it's better. Oh, all right. Good.